What's good, G fam? It's your boy Gum. So welcome back to another reaction video, man. Look, we're about to check out "Say That You Will" by Sleep Token. Now, every song is a good one, I know, and it's true. All the songs that I review is pretty awesome. All right, but we're about to check this one out. We're about to see what it do. But before we do, don't forget to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And even if you don't, we still love and appreciate you every time. All right, so let's just hop right into this, man. Let's go. BTP Gums TV. Mm, I like this. Or is that a word to say my love? Or just a gesture in tongues? Well, I live to guess your sorrow. And you live to empty my lungs. You've got me up in a frenzy. a word you said my love or just a gesture in town now what he's saying here is he doesn't hear whatever she whispered he doesn't hear so he's asking her is this a word you said or are you just talking in tongues like you just gesture something in tongue meaning there's this language they call tongue where you don't pronounce the word but you have a meaning behind what you said all right so he's just asking her, is that what you're doing? You know, but the part where he says that, and you live to empty my lungs, and I know you were planning to leave in the end. Those two lines hit me. So basically what he's saying here, man, I know you live to empty my lungs. If my lungs are empty, it means I have no breath. you taking my breath away. Now, this could go the good side or the bad side. But here's why. For the bad side, it means that whatever she's doing is killing him slowly. It doesn't give him any happiness. It doesn't give him any joy. It's just stressing him out. It's just drying him out. The other part is mean that her love is being taken. Like, he loves her so much. Her, his passion, you know, the communication, everything is on point so much that it takes my breath away. Like, we say it all the time when something feels good to us. When a song sounds good to us, you know, when we're in a happy moment, we always, we always say that, oh, you take my breath away. So that could be the meaning behind this also. All right? But this sounds like he's having a conversation with, he's talking to the one that he actually loved, like a woman he's actually loved. <laughs> So basically, with this chorus now, basically he's saying, he's doubting it. He's doubting the fact that she will or she, she will not. But he just want to hear her say, he just want to hear her say that she will return the love or she will be passionate. She will change. She will make a difference. Because one of the songs, we, I don't remember which one we reviewed. And he had a part in it where he was talking about the communication and all that you feel me and we reviewed a song from tool that talk about that also too with the commu the broken communication and all that so right here that is what he want to know he want to make sure he's on the right page with this person he want to make sure that he's not wasting his time you feel me that's what i'm getting from this chorus real talk
it, this is real good. This is real good. Again, he's very, very um intelligent with his words here. He's very intelligent, man. I'm telling you, like, he says, right, is that a, a, a glint in your eyes? That could be something like a spark, like something he see, like a reflection. And then he says, is that a blade in your palm? Like, this basically doesn't mean, like, she's ready to strike him, like, physically. But he's just explaining it in a way so that you know that what he's about to say is that she is about to strike at him with something. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a blade. Well, I am yours tonight. He's surrendering here. Again, he's surrendering here. So will you lay in my arms? I am yours tonight. So he's surrendering here, man. But at the end, he still say, um, you got me up in a frenzy again. Now, this could mean like he feel like she's not serious about the relationship as he is. So I don't know how you guys put it out there. But here, if a boy talk to a girl and she'd be, be like, you got me in the friends, yeah? Like, you got me in the friend zone. You're not really into me like I'm into you. And that's why he says that he know that she will leave again in the end. Because she ain't really into him. She ain't into him. She's just there. Maybe she's just there for the moment. You feel me? But he doesn't want her to leave. He want to actually be in a relationship with her. But she doesn't. That's what I'm getting from this right here. says right let the impulse to love and the instinct to kill the impulse to love if you impulse mean like it's a boost right like it's a boost so he's saying that energy that impulse to love he's asking her just let it be you know let, let your let your spirit run freely don't don't try to hide don't try to pretend don't try to um keep anything for me just be real with me and then he said the instant to kill wow so it's, it's like like i said before the determination he have with his love like the way he want to love her but she's not loving him the same way it's kind of messing with his mind so this is like a mental state he's in so the impulse to love like the way he want to be loved he's not getting it so it's kind of triggering him in a way like giving him this instinct of a killer you know he just want to break free because he's not happy in this place now i could get this wrong but that's, that's just my opinion on this all right that's how i see it because he also said until the sweat turns to blood won't you say that you will so right between these sex these lines you know he's like he's getting angry this is like an angry part of him you know, and a lot of people is like that. A lot of people, when they're mad at something, they have an instinct to kill. It doesn't matter what it is or who it is come around them at that moment. They have an instinct to kill because it's not going their way. You feel me? They're not happy. They've been triggered by something, an impulse to love, you know? So I could get this wrong, but that's how I'm seeing it. I'm giving you my opinion on this, all right?
that's nice. I love this instrumental, man. I guess it's about the end. me up in the frenzy again like i said if someone said that here it means you got me in the friend zone the frenzy the friend zone you know i don't want to be in the friend zone i want to be in a real relationship but you don't that that's that's what i'm getting from this you feel me but anyways guys this unfortunately man this song has come to an end all right and i'm sorry but you know your boy gotta go all right but I'll catch you in the next one, man. But don't forget to show love. Don't forget to show peace. Give somebody a hug if they need it. All right? And I'll catch you in the next one, man. We out. Peace.